Hey, how's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get OneNote from Microsoft working on your Linux desktop. So in this video, we'll be talking about P3X OneNote, the best Microsoft OneNote client, but uh, there are several different ways you can install it. In this video, we'll be going over the snap instructions, but there are other instructions for other methods to get it working. And you can get that working by checking out the article I wrote in the description. But so let's get started. So to install P3X OneNote, you want to do snap search and then just do P3X. Now that should show you the P3X OneNote package. And then you can just do sudo snap install P3X OneNote. Enter your password. So once you download the package through the store, it's going to install and you can do P3X. And now I have two different ones on here. I have the, uh, I believe the app image one, as you can see in my app image folder here. And I've also got the snap install. Uh, they both show up here. So whatever one launches is the one that we're going to use. There we go. So, and if you look through my my list here, we can see we have P3X and it's installed and running on loop 15. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load, so let, let it load. All right, so once the app opens, you're gonna be prompted to sign into your Microsoft account. So I am about to do that as soon as it finishes loading. So once the internal sign-in loads, you can log into your Microsoft account like normal. And be sure to click the keep me signed in button because if you don't, then you're gonna have to keep signing in. And once you're signed in, you should have access to your notebooks. Uh, you may need to click through the cookies warning crap. I don't really know how to get rid of it, but it uh, comes with different actions and features you can look through. It's, uh, it's got multiple profiles. I don't use OneNote personally. I use a, a personal solution of my own. Uh, but uh, if you are a Microsoft fan, you're developing on Windows or you're just using, you know, you're using Linux as well, this is something that I would highly recommend. Anyways, guys, this is how to get OneNote on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.